Hello, I'm Gavin Bates, Community and Communications Manager at Workplace Law, with the latest news and cases in health and safety, human resources and the environment. The European Agency for Safety and Health at Work has launched a new two-year Healthy Workplaces campaign entitled Working Together for Risk Prevention. The campaign features a range of activities at national and European level, with the HSE leading the UK programme. A packaging company has been fined after an employee was seriously injured when he was hit by a heavy goods vehicle at its site. The company was prosecuted for failing to proactively risk assess and implement control measures for its workplace transport and fined £8,000. Britain's employers rely on outdated methods and techniques to provide training to their staff, according to a new survey by the Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development. The research found that traditional methods of workplace learning are considered the least effective ways to upskill employees. When asked what methods are most likely to work, most learning and development professionals pointed towards training that is integrated into the normal course of their jobs. Unemployment has fallen for the first time since May 2011. The number of people out of work fell by 35,000 and employment rose by 53,000 in the three months to February, according to the latest figures from the Office of National Statistics. The Green Deal for non-domestic buildings will not launch at the same time as it is introduced to households. Ministers had planned to introduce the Green Deal to both households and businesses in October. But the Department of Energy and Climate Change is considering a phased introduction of the government's flagship energy efficiency program. And finally, many thanks for all your responses to our performance management survey. We've had an excellent response so far but there's still time to participate in the research to help us measure performance across the industry and understand what makes a good relationship work. Take part in the Think FM survey now using the link shown on the screen and you could win an iPad or a Galaxy Tab.